In this video, we're going to download and install IntelliJ IDEA, which is the IDE, Integrated Development Environment or Editor program, if you will, that we're going to be using to uh, run our programs in this course, to actually create and run our programs for that matter. So to uh, download that, we're going to go to jetbrains.com, www.jetbrains.com. Once we get there, we're going to come up to the Tools menu at the top, select IntelliJ IDEA, you can see here, click on that. Click on download. We can click on this little I agree just to get rid of that on the screen. Now you've got two options here when you go to download IntelliJ IDEA. You can grab the community edition, which we'll be doing, which is free, open source, you'll never need to pay for it. Alternatively, you can choose the ultimate edition, which uh, gives you the few extra options and it uh, basically is for uh, commercial developers. You can see if I scroll down, there's some extra features there. JavaScript, TypeScript, Java Enterprise Edition, Spring, etc. So basically it gives you more functionality, which is how the company makes their money. But the fact that they offer a free version, which is fully featured and certainly enough for you to use in this course is fantastic. So we're going to click on download here to download the Community Edition. All right, so I'm just going to give that a moment now to complete. All right, you can see that IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, that's the C in IDEA there, has been, uh, or has finished downloading. Click on the little uh, magnifying glass there to uh, open Finder. We're gonna double click the DMG file to start installing it. I'm gonna close down Safari, because we don't need that anymore. And I'll close down the Finder window for now as well, because we really don't need that either. Drag it into Applications, there's no doubt you've done before with Applications on a Mac. Give that a moment to install. So I mentioned we're going to do some configuration of IntelliJ IDEA in another video, but we'll do the first parts of it in this video. So I'm going to go down now and double click on the IntelliJ icon, IntelliJ IDEA CE. CE stands for Community Edition. That's the free version that we've downloaded and now installed. Double click that to start off the process. I'm going to close down Finder now and close down the install window there, the installation, and I'll actually eject IntelliJ IDEA CE because we've now finished with the installation. All right, we've got an option here telling us that it's from the app. The app has been downloaded from the internet, are you sure? Well, it's from jetbrains.com, which is the official, the official site for IntelliJ, so that's fine. I'm gonna click on open, as you saw. We're prompted for this option. If you're installing IntelliJ IDEA for the first time, we haven't got any settings to import, but if you had a previous installation, you could click on the top option, Config Installation Folder, and basically that would give the option to drag those settings from the previous version into the, this current version, this new version we're installing. I'm gonna select Do Not Import Settings because it's a brand new install. Click OK. Privacy policy there. Check the checkbox, click on Continue. You can read that if you like. We can send anonymous data about features and plugins if you want. I generally click on don't send, but you can choose either option. We're now presented with an option, which type of screen color you would like. I'm going to leave mine set to light, and light uh, comes out better for videos, but uh, if you prefer to use dark color, and that's uh, my development machine is certainly using that, it's easier on the eyes and select that, but choose whichever one you want. Noting you can change these options later in preferences. I'm gonna click on next. Key map scheme, I'm gonna leave as defaults. If you've used IntelliJ IDEA before, you can change that by choosing the option on the right. I'm gonna click on next. This gives you the option to invoke IntelliJ IDEA from the command line. If that's something you're doing or have done in the past or want to do from the command line, then check the box. There's no harm in doing it in any event, so I'm going to do that. Now you've got various tools here. And keep in mind that if you've uh, chosen to download and install the Ultimate Edition, there'll be additional features here. Generally, I just leave everything as is and I don't change anything because you can always change plugins and add new plugins at a later time as well. Click on Next. Same deal there. I'm not going to change any of those settings. You can come back to it. You can see down here, Preferences Plugins if you do want to change that in the future. Click on Start Using IntelliJ IDEA. Enter my password. IntelliJ IDEA should uh, start up for us now. Okay, so at this point we're now done. I'm gonna end the video here. There is another video that we'll go through and we'll go through and enter or we'll do the configuration for IntelliJ IDEA. And that's actually connecting the SDKs and so on that we need for this course. But we'll do all that in a separate video. Thanks for watching, let's move on now to the next video.